Good morning. Hello. Sorry, it took me a moment to figure some things out. I was trying to set up the live prior, like have like the description box and stuff like that. So I was doing it on my computer because that's just easier for me. Uh, and hopefully you could hear me. Can you hear me? Uh, but I like to usually do my lives through my phone. It's clearer picture. And I wish my computer was a clearer picture. But if you set things up on the computer, then you can't do your live through your phone. It's, I don't know, maybe I need to Google a little bit more. Good morning. Hello. Oh, I just got really close. Okay. So today I kind of wanted to do like a get ready with me as if you were just sitting here with me on a normal quarantine morning. I already drank my coffee, so I'm already ooh, 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 all amped up and ready to go. I'm going to pull up my little notes and stuff like that so I can stay on track because, hey, this is like the fifth live we've done here. So starting to get somewhat organized. <laughs> hey, good morning, Jackie. Oh, okay. I know your screen name on there and it, it's nice to kind of put the name and the face together. Good morning, Rylan. Morning, Ben. Hello. Oh, is Miss Rose still here? I saw her comment earlier. Hey, Allie, how are you? Good morning. No makeup on, so don't get afraid. And I was just telling everybody how I, I screwed up with trying to do the live. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, good morning, everyone. Hello, Miss Beth. Okay, so if you're just kind of popping in, what I was saying is I was trying to do something on my computer, like get the live ready. So you'll see that the description box has links to some of the products I'm gonna use and talk about today. But I like doing the lives from my phone, but it wouldn't let me, I don't know. Again, I think I need to Google how to set it up in here, but then like stream from my phone. See, I'm not that fancy. <laughs> I'm not good at computer stuff. How's it going? How's it going? Miss Nikki, what's up? And Katie, how's it going? Okay, so let's get some makeup on because I have like the like a mountain from hell on the middle of my forehead here. Quarantine breakout right here and a couple other that are just like healing up like they're already like dried up and flat and everything. But hey, estheticians can have skin issues too, okay? <laughs> like it's going to be okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to come off the, the comments here so I can get actually started. Otherwise, I will do the talking and the reading too much. Okay, so my computer is like blocking my mirror. Bear with me. This was not the original plan <laughs> of setup here. Okay, so what is up? What is new? Question right off the bat, because the first thing that popped up on my little notepad was like the menu for the week or our menu for the week. I'm trying to like plan out an idea of at least dinner because breakfast and lunch, we can kind of like skate by and like grab leftovers or cereal or waffles or whatever. But dinner, I feel like is when we really all kind of kind of come together and sit down and eat. So I like to have something a little more structured somewhat, unless it's just Logan and I here, which it has been the last few days with the kids are with their dad. And I don't think we've eaten dinner the last three nights. Uh, we've eaten, but like, it's cause we like snacked a little bit throughout the day. Okay, so let's get the notes pulled up. <clears throat> good morning, good morning to all of those that are join, just joining in. We are going to get ready for the day. And this is going to be my typical, somewhat typical quarantine makeup routine. I mean, it changes from day to day depending on what my skin's looking like. Today, I just need some coverage. And I like just feeling more me, more pulled together. Even if I'm not, obviously, not going anywhere, it still just makes me feel nice? I don't know. It just gives you that little extra puff in your step. And I I had to learn this. Another thing that made me relate was I forgot to wet my beauty blender, which I didn't have time to clean it either. So, or not a beauty blender. This is actually the e.l.f. sponge. And I made sure to put a link to it in the description box. I will probably never buy another beauty blender. This thing is so freaking awesome. And I have it in my little stand which I have been spending the last few days going through like the last few years and last millions of purchases that I've made on Amazon. And this is one of them. So that video is going to be coming very soon. It just took a little bit of time because then I started doing categories. <laughs> now I have like seven categories because I originally was just going to do like 10 thing I'm, things I bought off Amazon. 
let's put makeup on while I'm talking. I'm bad at this. Uh, let's go ahead and put on the primer, the It Cosmetics. I'm trying to use up these little deluxe sample sizes. This is the oil-free makeup gripping base. See if it's any good. Oh, it's like a cream, like silicone looking, but it's got like a peach tone. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, so I originally was going to do just like 10 things I bought off of Amazon. But then I started like looking some more and I'm like, no, 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 no. I really like this. I have to tell people about this and whatever it was. And then I started making categories. So we have beauty and then we have skincare and then we have like lifestyle. But then we have like well-being stuff. And then there's creator stuff for those that like make videos and things like that. And then I made another tab for crafting. <laughs> and Oh, my gosh, I have so many tabs. Okay, I'm gonna sweep this on. I'm so sorry. The quality of this is so bad. At least on my end, it like looks foggy. Why does my computer suck? So I'm gonna kind of sweep it on and like press it in over Mount Everest right here in the middle of my forehead. It's so bad. I'm gonna have to get that one. Which one are you talking about? The this thing? There we go. I love watching Amazon videos. Like I have a weird obsession <laughs> with them. So would you rather see like 10 things I've really liked and then like I could do a couple of those, like break it down? Cause I feel like my videos are always really long and then I lose people. Uh, like they stop watching like halfway through the video and I don't blame them. Like, I feel like I bore people to death. Uh, would you rather see like little bite sizes or do it by category? Like just crafting stuff, just skincare stuff, just beauty. Um, let's see, what other categories do I have? I literally, it's so bad. <laughs> so bad. But it took a while to like start sorting it out and then finding the links for it. So it's getting there and I'm really excited. The esthetician stuff is for professionals only. So that I know will be like a separate video. Okay, so for covering up everything, I'm gonna go between two different things. And my dear friend, Miss Allie, she started off as a subscriber here, just like everybody else. And she has quickly grown to be a dear friend of mine. She has sent me a little care package and I'm so grateful. And one of the things that was in there was this deluxe sample size of the Beyond Perfect Foundation and Concealer from Clinique. And I have never tried this before. This one is in the shade 01 Linen. And I'm going to put that. Oh, my gosh, I need a mirror. I'm going to put that on the areas that I want cover. Or actually, I never put stuff on the area that needs coverage. I always put it like next to it. I don't know if that's a rhyme or reason or if that's just. No, Allie, I'm grateful for you. And we're going to get to something else here in a little bit because <laughs> I want to play with it. Uh, let's kind of smoosh this out. I'm actually going to use a brush. And then what we do is we put the It Cosmetics CC cream kind of on top and everywhere else just to even out the skin tone. But this is just like an initial, almost like a color correcting step, but it's not like a color corrector. But yeah, I've only used this a few times since I just recently got it, but I kind of like the finish. My whole quarantine makeup look is very, I don't know, I don't want to say simple because there's definitely some steps to it just because it's like time for me. But at the same time, it's very natural. It's not anything too crazy heavy. Categories would be amazing. Okay. So kind of like break it off into like lifestyle and well-being Amazon video and then like beauty and skincare into one and or another one. Okay. I can do that. Let's see. What's the biggest category I have? Probably beauty, style, I'll probably do that in a video and then like household and lifestyle in another one. And it's funny how household and lifestyle is two different things, <laughs> but they're very too much two different things on my list. And again, this is not stuff I've bought like in the last month. This is like, I was going back like a couple of years even. And I'm like, Ooh, I still use it. I can't believe I bought that off of the Amazon. And it's like sitting out on our counter. Cause I'm definitely like <laughs> realizing this over quarantine. I can be an impulse buyer. <laughs> I have a shopping problem. A uh, little baby one, you know, not too crazy. I don't have like immense debt going into this. Uh, this is in the shade medium. And then I'm just going to put like a little baby bit 
maybe that was too much baby bit, but um, I like to buy things <laughs> and I like to try new stuff. So, and I go through phases where it's makeup and then the next phase is pillows. And then the next phase is like crafting stuff. And I feel like I'm not consistent with anything. So actually, why am I applying this with a sponge? I don't even want to apply this with a sponge. What am I doing? I like applying it actually with its Heavenly Lux flat top buffing. I think I got this in like an Ipsy Plus box, but I like applying that. I wish I could see myself. I like applying this with this and then I go over it with the sponge. So I, don't, I was not paying attention. You're in the same boat. I'm a shopaholic, Sarah. <laughs> I feel like I am because it's like embarrassing to look through my Target purchases recently. And I'm grateful that like they have the free shipping when you have their like Target debit card thing and the 5% off doesn't hurt. Um, I mean, I haven't bought things that I'm like, ooh, that is like not a good idea. And I do have like a little bin over here of stuff I would like to return that either didn't fit or actually that's really all it is. I brought, brought, bought these bralette. Actually, I'm wearing one of them. It's not like a bralette. It's like an actual bra, but there's no boning. What is that called? Underwire. <laughs> what is wrong with me? And I wish I could show you this because it kind of looks like a sports bra, but it's totally not a sports bra. It was $15. And I immediately, after I put it on, I wore it one day. And I was like, this is the most comfortable thing I've ever worn. And I could actually wear it out in public and still be okay. Because some bralettes, you're like, oh, those are not holding the puppies up. Those are like, right? And I, I'm obsessed. So after I wore it the first day, I immediately went and purchased like another one. But I originally had gotten it in a different style, in a different size, and it didn't fit. So I do need to return that. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm bad at this whole get ready with me thing. <laughs> what is the brand of the bralette? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. I will find that for you. And I will absolutely put a link to it because I'm telling you, it is seriously the most comfortable thing. And it's holding up all the junk. Okay. Can I flash you my boobs? I don't know if that's allowed. I mean, I've done bathing suit hauls. It's the same thing. Because it looks like a sports bra. And it kind of holds you up the same. Hold on. I'll find you a picture on here. Oh, I feel like I'm breathing really heavy. Sorry. I ran out of my inhaler. Oh, not good. Not good. Okay, where is it? Here's the purchase. Cause I got another one. No, nope, that's not the right one. That's the one I'm returning. Where are you at? Where are you at? Here it is. Okay. Oh, it's gonna look terrible. I'm so sorry. And it has a snap and everything and the straps are like thicker and there's actually a mesh. I'm just going to show you, mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to show my, I'm not showing my boobs. I'm showing you my bra. Okay. So there's like a mesh piece in the bigger sizes, whereas in the smaller ones, they aren't there. And then there's like a strap underneath. And then of course it like buckles in the back. Probably need to pull that down. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But it's like literally the most comfortable thing I've ever put on. And I want all of them. There's like a pink one too. I think it was sold out in my color though, or in my size. I'm sorry. <clears throat> like a pink. What is your favorite store at the moment? Freaking Target. <laughs> because they're shipping so fast. I bought, what was it? Oh, I bought some of the makeup stuff when I was trying to get some toilet paper from Walmart. And I was like, oh, I need to fill up the cart to get free shipping at $35. So I put in like some e.l.f stuff that I was wanting to replenish and it still hasn't come. And I understand that this is like a time of like craziness. So I'm not upset about it, but I have noticed my Target stuff and my Amazon stuff has actually been coming pretty quickly. So, and I'm a person that is impatient because <laughs> I'm sitting here, you know? It's like that meme where the lady is sitting out by her mailbox and is like, just place an order, where's it at? That's me. I'm impatient. That's why most of the time I don't shop online, like in normal, like pre 
Corona life. Because I like instant gratification. I like going to the store and walking around and looking at things I don't need. So this is a little bit darker than my actual skin, but that's because I have been sunless tanning. And I think, Sarah, you are the one that noticed it in my last video. And it's kind of weird off a little bit because I was exfoliating to try to reapply it tonight. It is so good. So good. And I got it off of Amazon, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and I bought the mitt with it too. Even though I had the Vita Liberata one that I like, I didn't realize that I could love something even more. And it's so like, I don't know how to explain the fabric. It's just so soft. And then there's a lining of plastic and not like, but like an occlusive barrier. So it's not going to get on your hand while you're smooshing it in. And it's so, so, so good. Yeah, the tan looks so good that day. It's worn off a bit, a little bit. You know, I'm starting to get somewhat a little bit patchy in my dry areas. So I'm going to exfoliate again really good today. And I've been exfoliating. I mean, yeah, I've been moisturizing the crap on my skin and I exfoliated yesterday. I'm going to exfoliate again today, shave my legs and apply it again. And I'm going to apply it. So that was my first time putting it on or second time. And then tonight I want to do it where on the instructions, I'm trying to think of like what I'm trying to say and make it make sense. Cause I know what it means in my head on the instructions. It says you can apply it. And then 30 minutes later, you can reapply. So the first few times I tried it, I didn't do that because I just wanted to like see what it would work like, look, look, look. And I love the results, but I kind of like, I want to push the boundaries. So tonight I want to like put it on half hour later, put more on, leave it on for like six to eight hours so it can like cure and do things. And then you rinse it off in the morning and then moisturize the crap out of your skin from there and no exfoliation from that point. And that's what I want to try to do tonight. Yeah, it looks so good. And it was pretty cheap. I want to say it was like 20 but which I mean, that's not like the cheapest out there. But there was one, the Loving Tan that I was talking to you about last week. That's like 40 or 50 bucks. It's expensive. So I didn't want to spend that much when I could spend $20 and get just as good of a tan. <clears throat> okay. Let's conceal some of these under eyes. So two different things I've been kind of using up here is the creaseless concealer from Tarte and the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. I don't know what I want to use today, so I'm just going to put a little bit of both. This one's really light, so I think I'm going to mix it a little bit with the Bye Bye Under Eye. They're both very creamy, very emollient, almost like a little bit like tacky. So they tend to crease just a little bit, but it's not bad enough that I can't just go like this and like you know, pat it out. So I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna kind of blend those in a little bit on my hand. <clears throat> Let's see, what else do I want to chat about? New video just went up the other day of my March and April Ipsy boxes or bags or glam bags, whatever you want to call them. I'm still heartbroken over this. I've kept it on my counter and I spent like <laughs> an hour scraping all the little pieces of this. If you watch that video, you'll see that this one, I opened it and I was so excited because this is the item I chose in my like customization option. And it was totally shattered and it was everywhere. Like it's still over here a little bit. <sighs> it's so pretty though. So I've been just leaving it over there. So I did email them. So I wonder if they're gonna be able to send out a replacement. Although I was able to fix it, so. But it's more the principle of the matter. Like I do pay for that subscription. It's not like something that's like a PR and I'm being ungrateful or something. I did. I don't think they've gotten back to me yet though. And the other weird thing was um, just how late it came. So I'm glad I got something. And I think I was missing an item because I only had five items in there and there was supposed to be like six. Or if the sixth item was that little deluxe sample size that was in there, I know I spent points that I should have gotten in March that I didn't get. I mean, at this point, it's not, there's much bigger things to worry about in the world. So I'm not gonna, I'm not like, like upset, like crying myself to sleep upset, but I'm putting way too much on. Look at how shiny I am. I'm just kind of like 
going, going, going. I am going to put a little bit on Mount Everest here. And maybe a little bit on this one that's kind of healing up. But see how it just kind of like, even just the CC cream, it gives your skin a little bit of that fresh, just cleansed and moisturized, very healthy glow. That's kind of what I've been into. And I'm just going to press this into my skin. This probably has a little bit of the foundation still on it from when I was originally applying it. Just doing some patting motions across the skin. Just kind of making it look a little more seamless. Today's Earth Day. What are you guys doing for Earth Day today? Are you like just sitting outside, listening to birds, you know, enjoying the fresh air? Are you planting anything? It's spring, maybe some flowers. We planted um, or I bought the plant already kind of like going, but it has. It is very happy. An eggplant. I am so excited because if you watched my video like a couple months back, I did like an eggplant parmesan or like my version of the name play parmesan. And uh, it's so freaking good. <laughs> I'm just definitely not a chef. I'm not trying to be one. <laughs> I'm not very good at cooking, but that is freaking delicious. And I'm so excited to potentially be growing my own eggplant. That's going to be like the best eggplant farm ever. Do so good. I'm just covering up a couple little breakouts here and blemishes and stuff. It's still cold where you are. I'm sorry, Mom. It's 30. Ew, get out of there. You know, Mom, my neighbor, or like not ne right next door, but like the next one is selling their house. You could like buy it and move out here. <laughs> and Wendy, ugh. Gross. Somebody was telling me it was snowing back home the other day. Oh, that sounds awful. <laughs> Quarantine and snow. I mean, I guess that's the best time for it to snow because then you don't actually have to go out and like scrape your window if you don't have to go out. So it's a good thing. Where's my brush? Here we go. I think this is like a Vasanti brush. It's very old, but it's just like a fluffy brush. And I want to start just warming up the face just a little bit. I think if I was to break down things that I like about a look for myself it is like evened out you know somewhat even out glowy complexion like that like soft and hydrated and healthy but also like bronzy like if I was to come out with a makeup line the first thing would be a freaking bronzer because I love bronzers I have like two here in front of me that I wear on the regular this is new ish yeah, like a month and a half maybe two months this is the Sun Kissed, Forever Sun Kissed from Elf. <clears throat> a little bit orange, but I like it. Ooh, I picked up too much. Gonna be 87 there. Aren't you? You're out here. I can't keep it straight where everybody is from. I'm not good at that stuff. It's cold here, but sunny. See, that's nice. You can like look out the window and like enjoy the sun. If it's still like chilly. 67 sounds beautiful. Like that definitely is calling for a walk today. If you're able to, to go out for a walk. I know some places they're like straight up like shut down. Nobody's allowed to go out whatsoever. So again, this is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Forever Sun Kissed. See how it's a little bit orange, but it gives you that warmth. That healthy glow, a little bit on the nose. Right over right, right there. State neighbors, that's cute. See, I put it everywhere. <laughs> it's not even like I'm not trying to contour and chisel out a cheek. Nobody's got time for that in quarantine. I mean, we got time. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I like things to just be very soft and effortless and easy. Um, like I literally do this whole thing in like five, 10 minutes maybe. And if I'm trying to really make myself away from the kids and Logan and stuff like that and the dogs, I, uh, I'll take a little bit longer, but I do like the same steps. I do the same thing. Okay. So this is a little bit of the, um, butter bronzer. 
on this brush here. This is the contour brush from Real Techniques. I, for some reason, absolutely love the brush. I don't know why. It just, I only like it for the butter bronzer though. I've tried it with other products and I'm like, I don't feel like that's blending it out correctly. But for some reason, this works really well for it. <clears throat> How are my brows looking? Aside from not ever there. I tinted them the other day with my henna. And they were so dark. I wish I could show you a picture. Like put a one up here. I don't know how to do that. But they were so freaking dark that when I left the bathroom, Logan was like, you look like angry birds. And I'm like, you're such an you're so mean. <laughs> but then, of course, they lighten up after a day or two. And it, like, stains the skin a little bit. So it kind of helps when you go to, like, fill them in. Okay. Garrett said. Or is that Katie? Let's see. Okay, so I know you can't tell us what's in the FabFitFun Summer Box. But can you give us hints? Like, is there any makeup item in it, skincare? Okay. And I know there, there's only like 14 people in here. I know they're not watching. They Maybe I'll give some hints. I'll pull it up on my phone here in a moment. Remind me if I forgot. Because I need to put some blush on. I need to get my makeup going before I forget to finish that. Uh, this is just the butter bronzer. Or butter bronzer. Butter blush in plum rose it's like a mauvey color i love this one just a little i'm not a big blush person i mean i go in and out of liking different blushes i have a new elf one elf one coming we talked about that last week I think. but it hasn't gotten here yet and i really like that formula i just needed a different color let's do a little bit of even more glow let's glow it up this is a Farrah brush that came, I think, in my Plus subscription a couple months back. And then this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. So every time I apply this, and luckily I'm a little bit tanner-ish on the side of tanner-ish right now, I feel like it doles out. See how I made it just slightly dark? I don't know how to explain it. I wish there was one that was a little bit lighter. And I know they have other shades, but one looks like it's too like white light like it would just look obvious and not good or natural and then there was another one that was a little more yellow and I was like is that going to be too brightening I don't know do any of you have any of the ambient lighting and I just put it everywhere it's just if we could put this everywhere <laughs> I love it it just kind of like settles it all in but still gives you a little bit of that like I'm healthy and radiant and I'm here. I'll put it around my nose. I put it everywhere. I should put it on my eyelids too because those get oily. I mean, it doesn't help the oil, but I feel like it just holds everything. See how it like took off a little concealer in some of the areas? I don't know, but I still like it. Okay, hints, hints, hints. Everybody's asking for hints. Okay, let me pull it up on. So they send you like a, a forum as a creator to fill out your request for what you're going to get in your Fafif Fun box. And we all know how that went last season. Um, so I hope to get what I requested this time. That'd be cool. Where's my, how do you find pictures on this thing? I feel like I do this every week. <laughs> where are my stupid pictures? I need to move that to where I can find it. Cause I took screenshots of it. I'm not able to share them with you just yet, but maybe I could give like a hint or two. Because it's fun and it's a little teaser and I'm sure they wouldn't be upset about that. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you in a second. You have the ambient lighting blush and you love it? Okay, so is it like, uh, hold on. Let me get an example of what I'm thinking of in my head before I talk. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have a blush. Is it this one? No. Bear with me. Oh, here it is. The Laura Geller Fate something or other pink grapefruit. 
and see how it has like that super sheen. And every time I put this on, I look like a disco ball and not in a good way. It just looks like pink shine. And it just never makes me look healthy or glowy. I feel like using more of the ambient powders where it's more of a baseline color, not like a tip. I don't know. So I need, I need some guidance when it comes to that. Should I like suck it up and try one of those? Is it worth it? They're not cheap. The um, hourglass stuff. Even this was like 20 bucks for a little deluxe sample size. I mean, I've definitely gotten some amazing use out of it. It doesn't even barely have an indent. And I like scrape. <laughs> oh, let's put some more on. Let's not waste it. This shit's expensive. Um, yeah, I like scrape my brush in there. Because <laughs> it's hard when it's tiny. I, I do need to get the full size of some sort of color or shade that's going to work well for me. I just don't know if it's going to be this one. Let's put a little highlighter on. I know it's not available anymore, so I hate using it. But at the same time, it's like my favorite. And I still haven't had the guts to use the other side of it. And I'm not trying to hit pan. I saw somebody comment on one of those like Facebook groups, a makeup group. They're like, I hate when people that do videos only touch one part of the palette because they're trying to hit pan. I'm not trying to hit pan. I just don't want to ruin the beautiful design over here. And I know I can't get it again. And I'm a weirdo, okay? I'm not trying to be like, oh my gosh, I hit pan on this. That's how much I use it. I mean, I do use it a ton, but I've used it a ton and owned it for, when did I buy this? When did this first come out? It was when it first came out is when I bought this. So like a year ago. And it's like, not hit pan and I use this pretty much every day. I'm using way too much of everything today. I'm really I'm not doing good at this, but we're gonna be home. Screw it. Who cares? Okay, let me read some of your comments and get caught up here real quick. <clears throat> My yearly ran out last season. I'm debating on if I want to continue. I think mine ran out too, so I need to make sure because like spring is my renewal. I need to make sure that like my card is on there and that they automatically like do the year again. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I need to put that on my to-do list. Back, 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 back. And by all the, all the bras. <laughs> uh, check that fit fun subscription. Subscription. Okay. Thank you so much for reminding me. I literally have a to-do list 12 miles long. One of the things on here is to dry juicing. And I know we kind of talked about this last week. I was sent a juicer in PR and I still have not used it. I have it all assembled. It's out of my counter. I even bought the vegetables or like I bought celery, lemons, apples, carrots. Something else that like I Googled real quick, like what can you put in a juicer? And for some reason, I'm still like super intimidated about using it. I don't think I'm going to do it right. And then it's going to be like a waste of food. And I hate the idea of wasting food, especially now. I'm also just a cheap person and I don't want to waste food. Let's see. I'll keep reading. Keep reading. If the hints are good, I will be purchasing my first box this summer. And that was from Cameron. Cameron, don't forget to use my, my code. Or you don't have to use mine if you don't want to. Just find that $10 code. Um, so you could get $10 off your first box. You might as well, if you're going to do like a box or something like that. I definitely wouldn't have purchased it if it wasn't a set box. If it wasn't in a sub box, wait, what were you we talking about? Oh, the ambient light. Oh, the ambient lighting blush came in a subscription box. Oh, good deal. I would have bought that subscription. At least you try it, you know, because I do like the idea of like, Glowiness. And this is where I would normally limit. Is this where I want to be? Let's see. I feel like I need some more concealer on this honker. Sorry, it's like so upsetting me. I'm PMSing too, so you know how it goes. Freaking hormones. Last night, I guess last night wasn't as bad as the night before because last night I took one of my chocolates when I went to bed. Um, if you watched my like tips to self care, um, when dealing with anxiety, I talked about these um, saffron chocolate, sleepy chocolates. So good. But two nights ago, I was being stubborn and it was like 11 or 12 by the time I like finally convinced myself to like go lay down. Like I, I was tired, but like, I don't know. I've been having a weird couple of days. So much so that like 
my stomach would be so empty, but I didn't want to eat. Like I had no appetite. So I would force myself to like make a protein shake or like eat something in general. And they kind of like, that's how sleep felt. Like I was so tired, but like, I didn't want to go to sleep, but I did want to go to sleep. So anyways, two nights ago, I like woke up in the middle of the night. I hadn't taken one of my chocolates and one minute I was hot. So I took my blankets off and then the next minute I was freezing. So I put the blankets back on and then it was just so restless all night. So I know I'm like having like a hormonal mess going on right now. It's probably thyroid stuff too. I'm sure it's all related. Good morning, Miss Vanessa. Uh, juicer. Apple juice is good, but the carrot juice is nasty and don't drink beet juice. Okay, good to know. And I did not buy beets. I do like beets. So I had, I think I had it in my Instacart to have some beets, but um, I think I chickened out. I'll have to go double check the fridge. Where are we at with my face? I, need, I think I need to set it real quick. And then I usually do, I love the Scandinavia makeup setting spray. Although I do try to reserve it for when I'm going out or going to like see people because it is freaking expensive, but I'll do it because I'm here with you guys. Another one I've just been using, like if it's halfway through the day. And I just feel like I need a little pick me up. Um, and it's just because I have it from the subscription box. It's not because it's anything crazy, amazing or whatever, but it feels nice. And another one I think I got in the subscription box was this birch juice and it doesn't have water in it. It has like birch water, if I remember correctly. And that just feels really great for hydrating the skin. So like halfway through the day, if I'm feeling like, like it's starting to break up around my chin or anything like that. so. Let's spritz. Spritz, spritz. Get my fan out. Love this freaking thing. This for sure is going to be on my Amazon favorite. Sorry, is that like blowing in your ears? Sorry. See if I can read some of this. Hey, Rebecca. They do have sprays for heat flashes. You spray on yourself and it cools you down. Is that what those are? I don't know if they're hot flashes or if it's just like. I guess that's what it is. That it making it make sense. That's like the definition of what a hot flash is. I guess I just don't want to admit that I'm having hot flashes. <laughs> Perhaps that makes me feel old. All right, let's put a little bit of brow in. I, you know, I typically fill them in, but they're pretty like filled in, except for like right in here with some sort of pencil. I really love that L'Oreal Precise Precision Brow, and um. The Gimme Brow is just what I have. But on a day that I'm just kind of like, I want to feel more pulled together, I just use Gimme Brow, the little gel thing. I think this came in a plus box, I want to say. And it has a little bit of a tint. And it has a little bit of like fluffy, volumizing fibers. But you don't really see them. It's kind of hard to explain. I'll do one brow and not the other. And you'll see how it's very subtle, but at the same time, it just kind of like pulls it together. Brows, I have to like concentrate. <clears throat> okay. Is that kind of kind of hard going back and forth? Let's see. You need a little fan like that, Ali. You will love it. It feels so good. I remember I did a wedding right before quarantine, like the week before we all got put in quarantine and I was fanning her mother the mother-in-law because I did their makeup for the wedding and she literally was sitting there and she fell asleep <laughs> it was the cutest thing ever because she was just like just enjoying herself and it was great are you growing cucumbers at your house I do have cucumbers I remember to juice in the juicer because I felt like that was a thing perhaps not but if you're growing cucumbers, that's like the coolest thing ever. I don't know if I can grow those out here. But see how it's just not like night and day, but it gives a little more zhuzh, zhuzh, a little bit of something, something. I'm looking forward to the Selena Gomez makeup line. Is she, is she collaborating with a brand? I haven't heard about that yet. Is she collaborating with a brand or is she coming out like Lady Gaga did? and uh, making her own brand do you know i haven't heard anything about that i feel out of the loop 
I waxed my eyebrows. You'd be so proud of me. They're not fuzzy anymore. When I tinted them the other day, it felt so good. At the same time, I was like, okay, that they grew out, but it got to the point where I was looking in the mirror one day and I was like, I should take care of those chinchillas. So then I waxed them and, you know, tinted them and shaped them. And now that it's done, I'm kind of like, I'm glad I spent that time doing that. It looks much better. <laughs> My legs, on the other hand, I need to, like I said, I need to exfoliate and shave. I thought about waxing, but I'm kind of like over waxing my legs because it takes so much freaking time. So right now I'm waxing underarms, brows, and bikini. Or Brazilian or whatever you want to call it. Just because those are like the easiest things for me. For some reason, waxing my arms and my legs takes freaking forever and I just, I get bored. <laughs> and then I give up and then I have like patchiness everywhere. It's bad. <laughs> Let's see. I'm watching over here. Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay. Where am I at? Let's do some. Well, let's know. Let me put something on my lips first before I do my eyeballs. That's what I was going to say. Because uh, I feel like my lips are so dry. I'm still loving this stinking Bobbi Brown lip balm. And I know that the Sephora sale started yesterday. But I don't think I personally get access until like the 27th or something like that. Because I'm not rouge or vip or rogue or whatever they call it i'm just like normal keep like the lowest of the lowest i don't buy a lot from sephora a couple little dabbles like i'll probably get another hourglass like okay so he lets to go over my sephora wish list and then i'll tell you about the little sneaky peeks with the fat that's on thing okay i'm teasing you teasing you today uh my sephora wish list i wrote it down so I could like look at it and then like sleep on it and not be an impulse buyer and actually see if I like it. One of them is the a full size of the Bobbi Brown gloss because I when I looked into it a little bit more, there's like vitamin E in this. And that's why it feels so conditioning and kind of like an oil, but kind of like a gloss, but it's not sticky and it's not greasy. And I don't feel like it's like drooling down my face halfway through the day. I don't know what it is about this stupid, expensive gloss, but I love it. I am going to get it in a different color, even though I like this color. See, this just goes to a testament of, of who I am. I already found something I like, but I want to try something else. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? I'll be like, oh, I love this foundation. But like, what if there's something better? What if there's another color that like works better? And then I'll buy it and then I'll hate it. And then I'll have to buy this one in a full size. Story of my life. I'm always like, oh, maybe there's something out there that's like nicer or cheaper more frugal. <laughs> See, it just feels so good. And it looks like nothing. So I'm happy with that. Okay. So Bobbi Brown, another one of the hourglasses, potentially this one in full size, or maybe another shade. I don't know. I'm feeling it out. You tell me. The Laneige lip mask. I have put that in my car and taken it out more times than I would like to admit. I feel like everyone and their mom talks about it, but like, have you used it? Do you know the one I'm talking about? The one in like the little tub? And I hate the idea of like sticking my finger in it because I'm lazy and I just like things that just like open up and like I can smear on. I don't know. So the Laneige lip mask and I would like to get some more pharmacy products. They sent me a PR box of a couple different things that I put in play. It's like three different like items. One of them I already had. So like two new items to me and I kind of want to like branch out a little bit more. I want to try some more stuff from them because they're they're decently a clean brand that works so I like that I love the Laneige it comes with a spatula okay so I like that I don't have to like stick my finger in it now to not lose the spatula <laughs> I share the bathroom with a dude he like touches and moves things and <clears throat> where'd I get the fan from Amazon I will put a link in the description box of this video once it it finished posts so check back because it was super cheap i want to say it was like nine dollars and i got the pink one but i know there was a blue purple and teal potentially uh, just remembering off the top of my hand and it's rechargeable i know i'm like touting this as if i bought this myself it's not like a pr thing or whatever sponsorship it has like a like a little 
plug so you can recharge it. So I love that there's no batteries. Because once again, I'm way too lazy to change batteries. Just bought the pharmacy makeup remover balm. You are right. It's amazing. It is. It is so good. The green clean. And you need like the pinky nail size amount. If you emolliate it, that's not the right word. You <laughs> emulsify it in your hands and then apply it, like tap it onto the skin and then kind of use your fingertips to very gently massage it in. It'll take everything off. You do need to use a cleanser afterwards to remove that that occlusive berry, but it doesn't leave behind like a grease. Like I have an Eve Lom, like $90 makeup remover that is in like a balm form. And I don't like it because no matter how much cleanser I use afterwards, I still feel that like grippy, weird film left behind from it. And I, the green clean does not do that to me. And I love it, love it, love it. And I liked it before they sent it to me, just saying. This, I'm so happy. I just realized what is a good eye patch that you would stay put and helps with the lines. Do you mean like um, eye masks? I'm trying to think. I have my little fridge here. I was going to open one up, but the cherry one is. Are you talking about the cherry eye cream? They sent that to me. That's one of the ones I've been trying out. And it feels really good and it smells so good. And then they sent the. Um, the AHA overnight thing. I have not tried that one. I have tried the eye and then of course the green clean. And I haven't tried that one because I just need my skin to get back to normal. I need to get back to using my products again. I've been trying to like empty out my cupboard or pantry of skincare products because I just have so much of it. And I feel guilty that I've either opened something use some of it, but then like didn't really like it, but it didn't really hurt my skin. But obviously my skin is acting out and I'm breaking out. So I pretty much just need, need to be like, okay, throwing that stuff out. And for some reason, like, and this comes for makeup. This comes for, I like to hold on to stuff for too long because I'm like, what if I, I need it? What if I can't get it again? What if I am not in a position to get it again? So let's do some eye makeup while I'm getting all sappy on you about how I'm a hoarder. <laughs> Oh, look at how beautiful this is. This makes me so happy. Allie, are you still here? Oh, yes, yeah, she's still here. Oh, I know I've been gabbing on, but this is just so pretty. And I showed it to Sophia the other day when it first, like I like screamed when the box arrived and I was like, ah, and Logan's on his video game at the time. You know, he's got his headphones and he's like, what the, and his friends are like, is she okay? I'm like, I'm fine. Makeup, okay. Makeup and friends. Um, this is literally the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm curious to see how these marbled ones are going to turn out or if they're just like for show. I don't know. So let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's uh, put a little eyeshadow base on just so there's like something for it to grip to, especially with pastels like this. They typically need like something there. You know what I mean? Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up over here. Love the teal. Somebody's like backing up. Maybe it's a delivery truck. Maybe some more goodies are here. Okay, let's put on. This is just the Natasha Denona eyeshadow base because I bought it and it was expensive and I feel stupid. I still need to film that video of I've spent over $200 on a full face of Natasha Denona products and I pretty much hate them all. Can you hear all these noises? What is happening out there? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me see if I can fashion my mirror in front of me. I might not be able to see. Um, oh, I can see you. Can you see me? Okay. Let's put a little bit of the base on. Yeah, I am still, I'm still bitter about the fact that I spent so much stupid freaking money on this Natasha Denona stuff. Like literally a full base. And I like pretty much hate it all. Maybe not hate. Hate is a strong word. I like don't pull for a lot of this stuff. And it's very disappointing. And they don't take freaking returns. I tried. Because it was already open. And I didn't buy. I bought it through the Natasha Denona website. Not through like Sephora or anything like that. And maybe that was my mistake. Because I think Sephora takes returns back. Of their stuff. Oh, my eyelids are so dry. 
I don't know. Are you familiar with that stuff? Like if I bought more Natasha Denona stuff to give it a try? Maybe I shouldn't. I'm not going to waste my time or my money. Honestly, these like Huda Beauty ones are so freaking good. I have like a whole stack of them. Let me see. Where's the rest of them? I literally have like several. Where's my other one? Oh, here's the other one. I have like a good stack going of them, which is funny because I remember when it first came out and I kind of do this with a lot of new things. I'm like, it's just hyped up. It's not any good. And then I think I got one sent in like a plus box, the Ipsy plus box. I feel like I've brought up Ipsy plus a lot. It's because I feel like I've been exposed to a lot of amazing good things with having that subscription. Like it's seriously one of my favorites. Um. Yeah, if I had not gotten one of these in that box, I probably wouldn't have binged it. So let's do, who do I want to be today? I want to put this sparkle on top of this, I think. Yes, let's do that. Because this one's more green. This one's more mint. I mean, they're both mint. But like the undertone is more green. I don't know. It's I hope you can see the colors. It makes more sense. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to get caught up on a couple things. Thank you, Ali. It did scream me. Sephora and Ulta both. Wait, Sephora and Ulta both what? I missed it. Rebecca. And you got it for, you did get it for such a good price. I was so excited for you. Like a freaking steal. Even I was like, whoa. You might want to just sell them on Mercari and get some money back. I'm thinking about doing that. And I appreciate you mentioning that. Um, and I want to say thank you to anyone who has made it that's in this group right now that's made a purchase um, from my Mercari or Poshmark. I really just do Mercari. It's way easier. They have a better platform, honestly. Um, I have sold four things this week and like five things last week. So things are moving. So if you have stuff at home that you need to like, it needs to move on to another life, you need to give Mercari a try. And if you need, there is a link in the description box of this video. There is like a referral. I get like a kickback of some sort. It's not like an affiliate thing. It's like a referral thing for the site. Um. So if you need that to join the platform, definitely do so because it is so worth it. You just post it on there. I started keeping, so like how I was saying I was buying too much from, <laughs> from Target. I kept, I keep all the boxes and all of the, like the poly mailers, like I'll cut it open at the top and I'll like rip off my label or like I'll put the label on top of that one. And I just reduce, reuse, recycle. And I use poly mailers or boxes that I've already received. So that's another thing I'm hoarding at the moment. <laughs> and Logan's like walking out in the garage and there's like a pile of like boxes. And he's like, oh, is this all recycling? And I'm like, no, that's for Mercari. <laughs> don't touch them. I should have put a white base down. I don't feel like this is as bright as I wanted it to be. But that's because it is so pretty. I could see it. I hope you can see it. It almost needs a little bit of a help from underneath. But maybe we'll just do like a water, like a uh, watermark kissed kind of look today. Let's see, let me read over here. Uh, you were completely right at, about Fenty though. I'm mad, I hate the foundation. I haven't really tried too much from Fenty other than, did I, I think I tried it on here with you, the highlighter and the lip gloss. And that is something that I do have in my return in over here um the Fenty little travel or like the duo set of the highlighter and the gloss I didn't like them I like this gloss from Bobbi Brown way better so I am going to return that set when Sephora opens back up because it was like $24 or something like that and I don't like it so I'm not going to use it so I need to return it I don't even think I touched the highlighter to be honest with you I touched the lip gloss and I was like that's enough to know that I it's one of those things that like hyped up that I, I'm glad I kind of like waited and like, I don't know, I just don't like it. It's not my favorite. See, I really want Natasha to know a pink palette. I forgot what it was called. Oh, okay. That's what you're saying. The Sephora and Ulta will do the returns 
So I just need to purchase through them instead of the brand directly from now on if I want to try something. Besides, you get points too. I don't know what I was thinking going through the website. The pink palette. I don't know. I have a few. Okay, so I have this one from Natasha Denona. Denona? I said that weird. It's like a purple. It's okay. I never use these. I don't know why. It's kind of depressing. This one is neutral. So you think I would use this all day, every day. And yet, you know what palette when I need a neutral look that I pull? Sorry, I keep I keep forgetting that the eyeball is up there. This freaking one that is like literally pretty much ready to die. It's like nothing in this brown one right here. I don't know if you could see that. Um, this is a freaking color cover girl $10 palette or something like that. And yet I don't use this one that was like 40 freaking dollars. This one was like 25, $20. This one I've used a little bit more than this one surprisingly. But yeah. And they are different. They just look very similar on the feedback here, it looks like. I don't know why. What's wrong with me that I don't like them? It's not that I don't like them. I just have other things that I like better. <clears throat> I just posted a bunch of stuff on Mercari and haven't had any luck. Nikki, send me your link. I want to check it out. And maybe if we like, is there a way to like comment on people's things to share? I know on Poshmark, you're able to like share stuff and help promote other vendors, as we'll call it. Why does this eyebrow look weird? Ew. Stop it, eyebrow. We're trying to look half decent in quarantine. I mean, I don't need to look perfect. I just want to look pulled together so that when I answer the door and the FedEx guy is there again, and he's just so beautiful and he's like this beautiful tan skin and he has these bright eyes and he's so handsome and so sweet. I told Logan, he even knew to me, he's like, dang, that guy's pretty good looking. He's like, he, it's always the same guy. I want to like get him like a gift card to Target or something. Not because he's, but because. I buy a lot of shit and he delivers a lot of things here. <laughs> Let's see. Rebecca, I have that pink palette. I like it, but it's just so much money. I think it was one of the $65 ones. Oh, is it one of the ones where it's like four deep? I do have the Boba. What is that one called? Biba palette in my wish list on Sephora. The Natasha Denona one. But because I don't use those and I don't pull for them, I'm like terrified to buy it. Unless it was like on some sort of massive clearance. I think I'm going to pull a little bit of this into the crease. Just a little baby bit. Oh, there might have been a little bit of shadow on there already. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, I just need to shop at Ulta and Sephora and not buy through the the websites directly or the the brands directly. Which is really discouraging because wouldn't the brands want us purchasing from them directly? Then they wouldn't have to share the commission with a store. No. You need better customer service. I love Ulta. That's why like I don't talk about Sephora a lot because I don't buy a lot from them because I I'm definitely an older girl. There's one like two miles down the road from my house if I needed to like pop in and get something traditionally. Um, but also, I don't know. I just get better vibes from Ulta. Like the store itself or maybe the way it's set up. Not the people. They never answer any of my questions. I gave up on that a long time ago. I'm going to pick up this one because I want some more fun green right up here. Um, but I don't know. I just don't shop at Sephora a lot. And if I do, it's pretty much online. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, this one's more lighter. This one's more of a tail. I like that one. I like it a lot. Okay, so. Do that. I'm way better at doing more neutral eyes. This is just for fun. I hope nobody takes this too wildly serious and is like, oh my God, she's doing it wrong. I'm no Samantha Ravenel. She does these beautiful eye looks, and I'm like, Oh my gosh. I used to do that when I was younger. When I worked in a restaurant, especially on like Friday or Saturday nights, I would do these like super crazy, like bright purple and like 
big lashes and liner and I don't know I I like I'm like old now bro <laughs> and that doesn't mean you don't wear color I just I feel like I'm not good at it anymore I'm definitely a boring neutrals kind of girl right now <laughs> the phase of life I'm in I do still wear a lot of shimmer though so definitely haven't hit that point in my life where I'm like can't wear shimmer I love shimmer blend this out Okay. It's the love one, the love palette. Love the blue. I think it's pretty too. And I think there was a dark brown on this. So this is a lot darker than what this color is. And this color is more of like a warm. So I think my brush kind of screwed that up, but we'll run with it. Like I said, we're not taking this too seriously. We're just kind of playing with some colors, trying out this palette. So freaking pretty. Right? I feel the same way about Ulta too. I just feel like I know where everything is. They don't get too crazy creative with moving shit around all the time. And I feel like every time I've gone into a Sephora, I feel like it's very like crammed in. I feel like there's always a ton of freaking people in there. Nobody's helping anybody. And then I feel like nobody talks to anybody. Like when I'm in Ulta, I'm that weirdo that's like, hey, do you think you like this blush or this blush? And like somebody will answer me. Whereas I don't feel like Sephora gives that vibe. I feel like if I was to like ask somebody like, hey, what do you think about this lip color? Like just another shopper, not just like a worker. I don't know. I just don't get that, that aspect of community from Sephora. And maybe that's just... Me and the way I think about things. I could be totally wrong. I know there's a lot of people out there that love Sephora. And I'm not against it. Like, I'm still probably going to buy some stuff from Sephora. But that's probably simply because there's, like, Hourglass isn't at Ulta. At least not that I'm aware of. Otherwise, I'd just buy it at Ulta. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, thank you. Why are you having anxiety about it, girl? It wouldn't have been your fault. This has been the company. They weren't making good products. But honestly, I've tried their eyeshadows and other palettes, and then they're always so pretty. Sometimes you have to build up the color a little bit, but I'd rather have that than put something on and you're like, no, I need to blend it out like crazy. I'd rather have something I can like work it. Ulta is 100% more convenient. Absolutely. And I just feel like they're friendlier. Maybe not. I don't know. There's definitely been times I've like gone to return something. There's one clerk at my store that's like, What's wrong with it? And I'm like, you're looking at it. It's literally shattered. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Just, I don't like her. She can kick rocks. I want to put some of the shimmer on. And then I want to put some, like, color under my eye. Let's put the shimmer on first. I think I'm going to wet my brush first. What brush do I want to use to do this, though? I like this one, like a crown brush that I got at like an Ipsy event eons ago. I'm just gonna wet it with this rose spray. I just need some sort of liquid. But I am going to, okay, this is where I'm weird. I'm gonna pick up the shadow. I'm gonna use this marbly one. And like scrape up a little bit of it and kind of smoosh it together, okay. And then I'm going to put a good amount of liquid in my palm. I feel like I'm making all these fun, sexy faces for you right now. I'm like, <laughs> pick up a little bit of liquid. Let's see if this is going to work. And then I'm going to dab off the other side of the liquid. Let it drip all over myself, apparently. And then go to town. And then what I like to do... This is like a weird ritual I do with like shimmers or glitters that I really want to like stay. Because I do this with the Tachi palette too, which that's another one. I bought that freaking palette and I just don't use it. And it's not that it's not good. So then I just pick some up on my face. Look at how freaking pretty that is. It's like a freaking mermaid. And then I'm going to pat it on top just to get it. Oh. Pat 
Hell yeah. See how it's like smooth and not chunky anymore? Little tips and tricks for you. Okay, so let's dry it off because I don't like having a wet brush going into the eyeshadow. I feel like it makes like a weird film on the eyeshadows. Not like Huda eyeshadows in general, but like just eyeshadows in general. Hold on. It's blocking your comment. Don't block it. Show. That shit's sparkly. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm going to need liner today. I haven't been wearing liner in quarantine, but I feel like this look is going to go for a look. little bit of liner. What was I doing? Oh, I need to pick some up. Stuff is bomb. Okay, did I get a good amount? Yep. This is very technical technique here. Pick up a little bit of liquid, drip it off. I should have brought a towel because now I'm just gonna <laughs> rub it into my skin. Then apply. I guess this is my way of doing like a glitter primer without it using. I don't really like using glitter primers. I have them and I'll use them. But they're always so super freaking sticky and they always feel weird on my eyelid. I mean, they're supposed to be sticky. I know that, but maybe I'm just being a butt. Pick up some more of that beautiful marble color on my finger. And then pat, 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 pat. You have to be super careful when doing this because you can easily move around or drip it into your eyeball. Um, yeah, you can easily move around that eyeshadow that we first placed down. So it's all about the patting motion and stippling it on and not like swiping. Because the moment you swipe, you're just going to wipe it all off. I guess that's a comfort that like if you screwed up or something happens, you could just wipe it off. I'm just kind of filling in some of the gaps. Oh my gosh, this is even prettier than I thought. I feel like a magical mermaid unicorn. Sorry, I haven't looked up in a while. I'm like concentrating on my eyeballs. Okay, let's do no more product, but there's like some of that teal on here just to blend out a little bit of the edge. Oh, oh, oh. I should have brought a towel because now I'm just gonna. Can you see how it like glitter? Not just shines, but there's like glitter in there. But that's why I used um, some sort of liquid, like binding liquid. Getting dragged to the grocery store. Be safe. Be safe. Have fun. <laughs> Make friends. <laughs> I don't know. That's usually what I tell the kids when they go somewhere. I mean, be good, be safe, make friends. Maybe not at the grocery store right now, but be safe. Sorry if I if held you here. Oh, it's been a little over an hour. We'll have to head out here in a moment. But I'm not done with my makeup. Sorry, it takes, it does not take me this long, I promise. It's just the chitter chatter. Okay, let's do a little bit of eyeliner. Although I kind of want to put some stuff underneath and then we'll do eyeliner. I think I'm going to pick up this one. Maybe a little bit of the mint just to give it like a duo tone and then just kind of like pat it. I probably should have wet my brush. Oh no, it's showing up. It's showing up. Let's see. Into the peach line. Does Huda have a peach one? I think I saw like a purpley one. I feel like I have so many purple eyeshadows though. And I'm definitely more of a green person. I mean, purple looks good on my brown eyes. I probably should wear it more. But I have so much eyeshadow that I need to get through. This is so fun. This is so perfect. Oh, quarantine mermaid. I'll have to change the, the name of this. Quarantine mermaid. Everyday quarantine mermaid. Get ready with me. This is so fun. Oh, I just missed Karen's comment. 
Uh, love your videos. By the way, I bought the skin crap scrubber from your day spa day. Cool. That thing is definitely easy to use from home. I feel like it's safe enough to recommend to people to use. There's definitely tools that I don't feel comfortable sharing, like different extraction stuff, but that one I feel like is, is safe enough for everybody to use. I hope this is coming through clear enough. I'm sorry my computer sucks and it's like hazy for some reason. Okay, let's throw some, let's feel like, I'm all over the place. Bear with me. I want to use my favorite eyeliner. Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2 in 1. I have two of them here. I think one is empty and I never remember which one it is. So let's see if it's this one. <laughs> and then we'll put some mascara on. Something I have been doing in quarantine when it comes to my lashes. Oh, that eyeliner. I did not do that right. I haven't done eyeliner in so long. I'm out of the flow. Shake it up. I think this is the empty one. And these are only like $5, but I will use it until it is gone. <laughs> I like this because it has a brush tip. I don't know if I've shared that with you or if you've known that. But you see how it has like a little brush bristles? Love this eyeliner so much. My holy grail. Makes it so easy, for the most part, to apply a decent wing. Then I got a little carried away there. Use my nail to kind of sharpen it up. I don't know if that's an official tip or a bad one, but that's what I do. <laughs> so just being real. But yeah, I love these so much. Use them all the time. And then mascara, let's put a little bit of the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. Originally, I was just trying to use this up, but now I kind of like it. Just apply a little bit on the tips of the lashes so I can get them nice, long, and fluffy. Let's see, is there anything else I wanted to talk about that I missed? Oh, I think that was about it. I need to put that on my list. I'm going to put the link to the handheld fan once the video goes live or not live. We're live now, but like when it posts. Anybody else stick their neck out when doing the mascara? I'm like sticking out so far. Looks weird. Oh, I didn't tell you what I'm using. The roller lash from Benefit. I just feel like it does really great things for separating and lengthening the lashes. So I like using a formula that's very thin and lengthening, and then I'll go in with something that's a little more voluminous. And I'll show you that here in a moment. I might want to put more shimmer here in my inner corner. Let's, let's get the mascara on. We'll try it out. Oh, I have a wonky lash. It's like doing weird thing. It's like sideways. Why is it doing that? Get back over here. And yes, I do talk to myself like that when I do my makeup. I'm like, what the heck are you doing? Get back in line. This doesn't usually clump up, but I'm kind of over applying a little. Today's the more is more. A little bit on the lower lash line here. Okay. Oh my gosh, I never told you about the FabFitFun stuff. I wasn't trying to tease you that much. I just ended up getting sidetracked and forgot. So if you're still here, I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be mean. Uh, let me go back to ah, my folder that I have it in. There it is. Okay. So is anybody still here that wants to hear that stuff? Because I don't want to share it if, you know what I mean? And I'm going to be quite vague. It's going to be like hints because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't need anybody suing me <laughs> over this. Uh, perversion from Urban Decay. It's a very thick, voluminous. It's easy to get clumped up. So I kind of like take it easy on this one. But at the same time, 
It just adds like, uh, I wish this was clear. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm getting a bunch of yeses. So yay, yay, yay. I didn't mean to drag it out that much. Um, okay, so for customization option number one, and again, keep in mind that sometimes the ones that they give us, and I noticed this last time, when I got my annual, or like when it opened up the annual, the one I pay for customization options, it, some of the things were a little bit different. It's like they changed their mind or they run out of something or whatever. I don't know. They change. Shit happens. Um, so for customization option number one. So like I've been really into tie dye lately. So if you're into tie dye, there's definitely going to be something that you're going to like. I feel like I need lashes today. Like maybe a couple little falsies. I'm going to like sneak in stuff in between talking to you so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> um, yeah, if you like tie dye, there's something you're going to like. Like I'm going to get it. And it's something that like you might not need, but like. It would be cool to have type of thing. No, I'm not. And you know what? They take me off the PR. They take me off the PR. I just don't want to get sued. <laughs> um, Let's see. I bought the KKW mascara and oh my, it's good, but it flakes on me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hate when stuff does that where like you put it on, you're like, oh, oh my gosh, this is it. And then like an hour later, you're like, oh, this is not it. I feel like my makeup look needs something. I think I need lashes. This is not a quarantine look. I definitely wouldn't be putting on falsies for quarantine. But when you're in the moment, go for it. I think I'm going to use these little excesses that I clipped off of this one and just put it on the outside here. Just for fun. Yeah, we're, we're playing. Makeup, it's fun. Okay, so another option for customization number one is something I can't use for my phone because I have this, but like you might be able to. I'm really bad at these hints. I wish I could just freaking show you. Why are they being so difficult? You know, the, the frustrating about it thing about it is that they tell us don't do this. Don't do that. Don't share it before this date. Don't post your video before this date. And then literally that afternoon, I'll see somebody from the freaking Hills post something or like the bachelor. And I'm like, why do they get to post something? But like, I don't like, they have enough clout and money. Like, let me get a little bit of like a head start, you know, maybe just not me, but like smaller or micro influencers in general. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being bitter. Probably just being bitter. Okay, so I'm pulling out my Kiss Lash Adhesive, my little tweezers, and I'm just going to use the excess just so we have a little zhuzhed up a little bit. Um, another thing for customization number one, Reese Witherspoon. Is that a good hint? Am I giving good hints over here? Am I really bad? So I'm definitely getting that option because it has something to do with Reese Witherspoon. And I wish I was Reese Witherspoon's like best friend or sister, or she could just adopt me. That'd be fine. Yay! I love that fun. I really do. I have either been subscribed to the company or worked with them since 2014. So they like Ipsy are something that like, I feel like I started my channel on. See how that just adds like a little, I don't know if you can see that in the video. Sometimes I just like using the ends, the leftover eyelashes. Cause I keep like a little stash of them. Like even in this one, I have little cut off edges and I'll just put them on the end when I don't feel like I need like a full, full lash. I love Reese Witherspoon too. And it's something for customization option number one has something to do with her. Um, let's see, customization option number two. Honestly, this was the one that I was kind of like, there's a skincare item, there's a life and two lifestyle items. 
One of them, I guess, would come in handy. Sorry, I'm gluing. Um, which is the one that I asked for, like I requested. And I'm hoping that for customization option number two, this is one of the ones that like when we as consumers get to do our, our picking, they'll like add a thing or two on there. Because this was the one that I was kind of like, okay, I'll pick something, but it's not like exciting. Whereas the customization option number one, I pretty much want everything to give you like that feedback there. <clears throat> I'm wearing the shawl wrap that came in the last box. I have it under my pillow. And what I mean by that is like, it's always in my bed. When I get up in the middle of the night and I'm like freezing and I have to pee 1200 times, I throw that on. When I'm like walking around at night and I don't feel like putting on like a heavier robe and I just want something on my arms, I've been putting that on. So even though it came in my PR box and I was like, oh, I didn't pick this as my customization option. I am so freaking glad that I got it in the PR box because it is nice. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I do like the shawl that they sent. I don't remember the brand off the top of my head. See, lashes just give it like a little. Let's see, I love Rizuna. Not get in trouble, girl. You did a job, girl. Just hints. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I feel like I'm doing something naughty, but at the same time, we're being very ambiguous, okay? I'm like within a one customization, another one. I don't like anything. I know it almost makes me wish like, can I move one for customization option number one down to two? But like, it is what it is. That's how they, they have it set up. So, um, customization, <laughs> that's not a weird customization option number three. It has an item that I would like to replenish that everybody should be using every single day as an institution. It's something I like to replenish. Um, cause I do like it. Uh, but then there's another option that I was like, the hell is that? And then another one that I'm going to get, <laughs> I'm just going to get it because spoil yourself. <laughs> um, it's probably something I don't need cause I have a lot of them, but it's something you should be wearing every day when you go outside. Am I saying too much? What eyelash glue do I use? I like the um, Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. It's formaldehyde free. And I like the one that comes with a little, this thing, the wand. Because I've tried, and because I'm a hoarder, I still have them. The black one from Kiss, I didn't like it. I'm too freaking messy. I get it everywhere. Like it maybe makes sense for other people, but like I am not precise enough to get away with wearing the one that like stays black the one I use is like white and then it dries like clear because I have some in the back of my hand is that it no that's not it it's over here um and then I had one I think I actually threw it out so um the one in like the squeezy tube I don't like that one because I would always uh squirt out too much actually I think I put it in my makeup artist kit because technically that's more hygienic because then I'll squirt it onto the back of my hand and then run the lash for the client and then apply it Whereas using the brush, like you have to re put it in. That's not hygienic. First personal use, that's perfect. Hopefully that made sense. Sorry. <clears throat> Let's see. I've been using the old lady moisturizer on my face. The daytime. Red one. What brand? I've gotten some glasses from them before and they were too big for my head, so I was bummed. I feel like I got one from an add-on sale that I bought. I think it was the key ones. And I do like them, but I know what you mean. They're like big. These ones, if it is that, <laughs> um, could potentially be the same, but it's not that brand. Okay. Uh, customization option number four, it has an item that I don't need any more of personally, but I could see a lot of people liking it and wanting it, um, because I've stocked up on it in the past and it's like a skincare thing. Uh, another thing is, and I hope they stick with this because sometimes 
again, they like change things and they only gave you like two options when it came to choice four, um, at least for us. And um, it is something that'll help prevent wrinkles and static. They wouldn't fit me like they kept falling off my face. Wait, let me go back and read your previous one. I've gotten some. Oh, got you. The sunglasses. I was trying to remember what we were talking about. <laughs> That's how I feel about the blue light glasses that I got from the add on sale that I bought myself. Um, they're very like almost like heavy. So they fit. But like every time I go to look down on the, on the computer, it like. They're freaking annoying. But I did get blue light. Oh, they're not in here. Super cute blue light glasses that are very lightweight and almost like cheap. And I'm okay with that. Um, from the Lauren Conrad Lab in Kohl's. They were like 10 bucks or something and I used Kohl's cash for them. I spent too much money on a pair of Ray-Bans when I was in New York and I'm going to wear these until I die. <laughs> yeah, those are like expensive. So those are the kind that like you put back in the sleeve when you take them off and like you keep them nice for like a long time. I'm definitely more laissez-faire when it comes to my sunglasses. So I usually just buy cheap ones or whatever. Okay, so for customization option number five, which was the last one that they gave us access to, they only gave us two options and I'm interested in both. Um, one of them, it, I think would look very nice in here. And the other one, hopefully fix that mess. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I know. That's all they told us. I'm trying to remember the date that they said they wanted our content to go. I haven't gotten my box yet, so I can't even make content. Or like sneak a peek at a, a product. But um, what do we think? How's it going? Oh, I wanted to put something on the inside. Let's clean up, clean up, clean up. Okay, so Logan was making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Did you watch Barney growing up? And he was making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich the other day. And I was like, peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. But like, I didn't say the and jelly. I was like, peanut, peanut butter. And I went like that to him. And he just looked at me like I was the most insane person in the world. And I, was, I did it again, like peanut, peanut butter. And I was like, were you deprived as a child and you didn't watch Barney the freaking dinosaur? And he's like, who's Barney? <laughs> what? And jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. So stupid, but shit that gets stuck in your head after 30 years or <laughs> however old I am. I'm 32. Yeah. Okay. I don't know which shimmer I want to use on the inner corner. Maybe a little, maybe I will just dibble dabble. And then this might be tough to do with this. Okay. Ooh, okay, a little bit of something, something right in here. Probably looks better in person than how it's showing up in the, oh no, you can kind of see the difference. Okay. I need to find out how Jen Loves Reviews does her, her lives because hers is so freaking clear. Hers is so good. I kind of like just doing this just to hang out, though. It doesn't need to be crazy professional. Okay. <sighs> A morbid Christmas song about Barney. <laughs> What's another one? Oh, I was thinking of that when I was like, clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. I'm not a singer. And I'm sorry if I just broke your eardrums. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Who's Yarny? Oh my God. Somebody sent Jackie a link. Somebody sent Jackie a link. <laughs> Bro, Barney's the shit. Wasn't like Selena Gomez on Barney when she was younger or something? One of the, there was a couple of different like stars that was one of the kids on that show. It was like a kid's. 
drama <laughs> or something. I don't know what you call those. <laughs> kind of like Sesame Street, but not. I actually didn't like Sesame Street growing. I mean, I did, but I liked Barney better. I think I like the singing and stuff like that on there better. Oh my gosh, this look is coming together. I need to change my outfit. It does not match my pink vibes today. <clears throat> Barbecue and Barney's head. <laughs> oh Howard's Barney and my daughter did too. So she was about two and now she's five and a half. Oh. Is he still around? Is that still a thing? I don't know that my kids have watched Barney. I might have deprived them of that childhood pastime. I have to ask them today. I really don't know if I've ever had my kids watch Barney. Well, they're kind of too for it now. They're 11 and 9. Yeah, screw it. I'll make them watch it. Like, sit down and I'll give you ice cream. <laughs> Threaten them. Threaten their lives with Barney. Okay, what else did we do? What, we, what else did we talk? Let's clean up a little bit around here while we finish up and chitter chatter and hang out. What's another song I like from Barney? <laughs> um, it'll come to me today too. I'll think of it and I'll be like, he has formed my life. Yeah. So, like, what did you watch, like, growing up? What was, like, that cartoon or, like, like I don't know what they called it. Like, a kid's show. Not Teletubbies. My freaking little sister. I have two little sisters. But the youngest one, she was, like, the, at the age when Teletubbies started coming out. And I was, like, if you put that on again. Because I was, what, seven or eight at that point? I was, like, I'm going to stab you. Like, I'm, I don't want to watch this Teletubby crap. I could not stand it. What was another one? I liked watching Arthur. I still like Arthur. I bought the kids some Arthur books, like when they were littler, little when they were more little, when they were, when they were younger. <gasps> if all the rain drops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh what a rain that would be! Yes, I remember that one. Oh gosh, I'm gonna like have nightmares now of like different songs and I'll see like the people running around. <clears throat> Gullah Gullah Island. See, I didn't watch that. I don't know what that is, unfortunately. I'll have to Google it. I might know what it is, like if I see it, but I don't know it like right off the top of my head. Billy and Mandy's Grim Adventures. I hate Teletubbies. I hate Teletubbies too. I loved Arthur and DW. So DW, his little sister and the like the little Arthur, the um, anteater dude, it's like a cartoon. And his little sister DW was born on the same day as my little sister. So I just always like resonated with that. And I was like, ah, oh, that's you. And DW was always like getting into stuff. And so was my sister. It was on Nickelodeon. Okay. I don't know that I watched Nickelodeon that young when I was that young. I watched it like later on, like all that and stuff like that. Like, uh, what's her name? The one that went crazy. Amanda. Amanda, please. Yeah, I watched that, but that was like later on in life when I was a little bit older. Amanda, please. I liked Nickelodeon, but later on. Oh. Rugrats, that was another one. It was a little bit later in like not when we were like toddlers and younger, but like definitely, definitely watch that one for sure. Yeah, Barney is still killing it. <laughs> it's awesome. I don't remember that one, but I'm sure if I heard it on like a YouTube clip, because now I'm gonna like get off of here and like Google freaking Barney clips and songs. So I can annoy the crap out of the kids today. That's going to be awesome because we're planning. Okay. So who else buys their kids like science kits? And then they end up sitting in the freaking closet for forever and they don't do them. And I know they would like to do them. I just, I guess the moment has never arisen where I was available. They were available that all of us wanted to do it. So I pulled it out, all the kits onto the kitchen table. We're going to do them today. Doing all the science stuff today. Mm -hmm. 
Cartoon Network and Disney were the only things I watched. Yeah. We didn't have like cable cable until I was like a little bit older. I was like a pre or like a teenager at that point. So I didn't watch like a lot of that stuff. Then I started getting into MTV and all that. But yeah. Well, we are about an hour and a half in. I think I got all my makeup done. For the most part, other than the eyes, we did the quarantine face. This is what I would do pretty much every day just to make myself feel like pulled together and pretty and like myself and just judged up a bit. Um, the eyes are just for fun today because why not? Science kids, we never did them. I know. And I'm like, we're using those freaking kits today on, or I'm throwing them away. But, okay. I think we'll end it here today. Thank you so much for being here with me. Like always, this is a ton of fun. I look forward to doing these weekly Wednesday lives with you. Uh, we may, again, like I was saying in the past, once I get back to work, I, I work in the clinic on Wednesdays. So we'll have to move it to another day. Um, like a Wednesday or, or I'm sorry, a Thursday or a Friday. But um, right now, I, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get back to work. And um, yeah, you look forward to it. Thanks. I look forward to it too. So let me know. Um, these, the live comments don't stay when this video like processes in the YouTubiness. So if you do have any requests for what we want to chat about or hang out about next week, um, either DM me on Instagram or wait for the video to post and like you can comment below. But all of the links to all of the makeup that I use today will be in the description box down below. Some of them are already there. I will add the one to the fan here in a second. Um, I already have the link. It'll take me two seconds just to get it into the, the box. Thank you so, so, so much. This is so fun hanging out with friends. That's what I wanted this to, to be was uh, literally just us hanging out. Maybe one time we could do it where we could see each other if you're into that, um, like a, a Zoom type of thing. Uh, maybe that's too exposing for some people. I know not everybody's comfortable being on camera, so. Okay, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.